What's up guys, my name is Technobi here for Troubleshoot and today I've got an interesting video for you if you use Google Play rather than Spotify or any of those other programs because you may or may not know that there is an Android app and an iOS app but there's not a Windows desktop app for Google Play. Now of course you can go ahead and use Spotify or anything else like that and get Discord integration etc etc but for me unfortunately Google Play Music is the only thing that I'm able to use and pay for. So anyway assuming that you already have a Google Play subscription or you're using the free one, I'm not exactly sure if there is one. Anyways, head across to the first link in the description down below www.googleplaymusicdesktopplayer.com It's a hell of a long thing, but this is their official page. At the top, you can hit view on GitHub if you'd like or do what I would do and just hit download latest. Then select Windows, Mac or Linux. I'll be choosing Windows and then it should start downloading. Just wait for this to complete. Now, of course, you may be asking, you have to sign into your Google account using a third party piece of software. Well, that's exactly why it's open source. People have gone through this and made sure it's safe. And I haven't had any issues with this. I've been using this for probably about a year to year and a half now, and it's been working really, really well. So anyways, I'll leave a link to this Marshall of Sound Google Play desktop music player GitHub page, as well as the download link below. Once it's done, simply open it, hit run, and you should see that it automatically starts. If you check your start menu, there should be a new icon at the top where it says recently added, as well as a new Samuel Attard folder with the Google Play desktop music player inside. I'd recommend dragging and dropping this onto your start menu or pinning it onto your desktop. Once you have it open, you can hit the giant sign in button and then input your login details. Once you've done that, you'll be presented with the familiar Google Play. Now, if you're used to using the browser extension for Chrome, then you may be used to using media keys to control your audio. So if I hit play on new releases, I can simply press keys on my keyboard to go backwards and forwards in tracks. Hitting the hamburger button in the top left brings out this menu here. Under desktop settings, you have a bunch of options. Heading to playback, you can change which device it uses. Hotkeys change exactly what you'd expect, the hotkeys. And you can set up a bunch of other things like Listen Brains, Last FM, as well as a mini player if you'd like. I personally don't like the mini player. Under general, there's a couple of things that you'll probably want to change. Changing it to the dark theme if it's on the light theme. And you can choose a highlight color. I think I had orange or blue before. Then I wouldn't enable voice controls. Scrolling down to the bottom, there's one thing that I would enable, and that's enable the Windows 10 system media service. This allows it to show up in the top left here, where Spotify and the rest would as well, whenever you hit play, pause, etc. Enabling a Discord rich presence integration, I think requires a restart, but once you do, you'll see it pops up over here. And if we click on it, we can see that we're currently in game, Google Play Music desktop, song name followed by artist, and time left. I personally don't like this, so I'll go ahead and turn that off. Under custom styles, you can add custom styles if you know how to create these using .css files. Quite useful, but you do kind of need to be a nerd. I'm pretty sure you can find them on the internet, however. And that's about it. You now have Google Play Music on your desktop, super easy to start up and use, as well as using the media controls. It's incredibly useful and far more lightweight than having Chrome or Firefox open for that matter. So anyways, thank you guys for watching. My name's been Technoba here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you guys next time. Ciao.